We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniBoardGaming.com and I wanted to show off a few new gaming mats that we got. GameMat.eu was gracious enough to supply us with a few mats for our battle reports and I just wanted to show them to you and so you can see the new, some of the new designs they have. Uh, I think one or two of these were ones that they've had available for a little while and then some of the other ones are some of their new designs. So you can go to GameMat.eu so mat spelled with one T obviously, like a gaming mat, but game mat to check out the stuff that they have in supply. And these are all, uh, they, I, I don't remember what the name of the material is, but it's like your mouse pad material where it's water resistant, it's fold resistant, so you can, if I put it here and I press down on it, then that crease, which you can't even see right now, it's a tiny, 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 tiny crease, goes away after just leaving it flat just for a few minutes. So they are very durable mats. These mats, uh, just like other ones that we've seen from other companies, are great for your basement, gaming club, store. They've been awesome for us because we had to build individual tables and then we had a, had a place to store them and they were more difficult to lug around. So this has allowed us to get more variety into our battle reports in terms of just the, the backdrop for the mats. So really like them. So gamemat.eu, so this one, is a grass or plains or you could use it for your forest map and has a really nice hue of green to it with some with some other details to it and then let's show some of the other mats here as well this one is really cool it's something patterned after mars so you, it's, I, I think it's actually themed for the ad mech that came up for 40k but obviously you can use it for really anything that you want it's essentially a red slash orange slash brown world very bright very vibrant has some craters, just like you would see on a world like Mars. Has all these like, little channels that could have used to be rivers that are dried up or streams or whatever it happens to be. So really gorgeous to depict some sort of alien world or some barren wasteland. Next up we have our post-apocalyptic map. This one represents what used to be some sort of structure or city or building. Uh, that has since been left to ruin and decay. There's craters from some previous battle and then rubble covering most of the ground. So this is great for obviously any science fiction that you would be playing and uh, looks really good with ruins and other scattered terrain on it to give that kind of sense of abandonment or just post-apocalyptic kind of games like 40k. And lastly, this one is my favorite of the new batch that we got. I used it in the battle report yesterday, although you won't see that battle report till probably next week. This one is representative of some sort of city block or manufacturum block, whatever you want your imagination to tell you it is, from some sort of science fiction universe. This, this could actually work in 40K or Infinity or pretty much anything else that's science fiction. Has the corrosion and rust effects just to show that you know not everything is in perfect order. Which, but it's not so rubble that you can't use it in some of the more clean sci-fi like Infinity. How Infinity really usually doesn't have things all rusted and ruined, it's more intact. And whereas 40k, you can get away with either, either ruins or intact buildings. So this is a nice kind of halfway point. And it's got some, it's just nice designs on it. This checkered pattern over here. At first when I rolled it out, I was like, oh, that's a checkered pattern. But then as I played on it, I really liked it. I liked the way that it showed up on camera. And I like the way that it just showed the models on top of it as well. It gives some really, really interesting variety. So this is definitely my favorite of the batch. So go and check them out at GameMat.eu. Links in the video description below as well. And thanks to the guys over at GameMat.eu for supplying these mats that you can now look forward to seeing in our battle reports. Thanks for watching. Happy working.